is the first video about PLCs and in this video you can see the basics about PLC symbols and PLC lists. PLC symbols can be a little tricky and that's the reason why I want to make this video for you. First I want to uh, just make a very small starting project here. I use my page uh, menu to uh, make this very small project and it consists simply by um, a um, diagram page and uh, a uh, PLC list and that, that's it. Simply just to, to, to show you how the uh, symbols work. When, uh, when we make uh, PLC drawings we use mirrored symbols. It means that we have reference symbols and it's one like this one. It's a reference symbol and a reference PLC reference symbol is a, is a um, you can see the symbol type here, is a symbol that owns the addresses and controls the addresses of a of a PLC. And um, on a reference symbol I go in and give uh, the card or the PLC the first address uh, to, to be represented on this symbol here. And this one will be 0, .00. And that means that now I have defined the addresses from 0, .00 to 0, uh, .07 in this project. The reference symbol is simply for reference whereas the PLC symbol is a symbol that I uh, uh, use to um, to connect other symbols to. And um, when I place a symbol here it should be one that uh, fits with the reference symbol and this one fits because um, yeah, because I put them there already but it fits because I have one connection point per address and I do that on the reference symbol and on the output symbol. When I place this one and uh, beware now that I'm, I don't use a database but I have a button here with IO addresses that are defined in the project and when I click this one I can see that I already defined the addresses as you just saw before from 0. Dot, uh, no, 0, .00 to 0. .07. And uh, if I double click this one, you can see that I get the name, I get the address and I get the uh, the pin name. If I take one more and do the same thing, uh, you can see that now I have a cross here showing that um, I already use the address. And if I double click this one, I get pin name and I get the address and I get the, a reference to the position of my reference symbol. And that's uh, the idea between those mirrored symbols. The reference symbol has references and overview of the entire PLC and I can place the uh, input IO uh, symbol input and outputs wherever I want to in my project and this reference symbol will keep track of where they are. The mirror thing also works this way, that if this um, uh, out ad output address here has got a certain description, I can just add something here, when I add it here, it also comes in here. So this, um, this text here is mirrored uh, as it should be both places. This is not uh, a logical way of, of typing in this, um, this uh, description. Instead, I could import an I.O. list or if now I'll just show that I can use my object lister as well. And uh, object lister, use a pen and uh, click here, shift click here if I want to uh, make um, uh, descriptions for, for all of, of uh, the outputs uh, at once and uh, control plus and then uh, I can just uh, add small descriptions like this and as soon as I click here they are, they are in my project as well. That means that if I just take a third output uh, symbol here I can uh, go in here double click and now you can see I have my description here too that I can select from and um, so um, that's how um, the symbol work. just basically how the symbols work. The next thing that um, goes with the, the function of the symbols themselves, they relate to the list. If I have those PLC symbols in my project, they are the ones that I um, connect my components to. And if I go up here and uh, just uh, fetch a lamp, and I can give it a, a, a type and uh, an article number 
and um, if I do the same thing here um, I can uh, uh, do the same thing here and here too doesn't uh, look so nice but um, that's okay and I'll just uh, give this one here same thing I could of course just have copied it but um, now I'll just do it this way doesn't look very nice but um, please forgive me now I have um, I have my um, my um, uh, small uh, connections here. I have my small terminals here, and they are connected to this one. I have my lamps here that are connected to my outputs. I also want to align them because uh, this um, connection here can be seen on my I/O list. If I right-click on this list, I can update it, and here you can see that I have a line, and I have my name of my component. I have my pin name, I have my address, I have my description and if I scroll out here you can see I have a, have a signal path and the attached component and the type of the attached component and finally I have the position of, of this attached component but signal path is here and the attached component is here if I go in and say uh, that um, I only have a connection to uh, this lamp if I have my um, contact here that's activated then again I can update my list and you can see that this um, contact will also be on my signal path um, because it's between this attached final component in the on, on the output too. So this what you've just seen here are basic uh, functions of all PLCs no matter whether you place uh, digital uh, PLCs or analog PLCs whether you find them in the database or whether you define them yourself these are the basic PLC functions